Peter. Oh, nice to meet you. Brother Peter, can you, for our CIA people, you know, who, who's just introducing themselves into the Catholic faith, can you do just a little quote of what, um, what this all means for the RCIA students? Um, like Phil here, who, who is brand new in this faith, and can, 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 can you say something about what, what's the significance of this? Of this Christmas Mass? I think it shows our unity as, as one church. We come together to pray together, um, to experience this wonderful uh, gift of God's love to all of us, that we all partake in, and the, the reason we're all here is to share His love and to share that with everyone else. In, in what parish are you from, Father? Um, actually, I'm from St. Ignatius Parish, but uh, our brothers are at uh, Our Lady of Angels Parish in Burlingame, Parish in France. Thank you, Brother Peter. Thank you. God bless you. And how, how long have you been in the in the in the order uh, 32 years 32 years and why did you get into touched by God's love and I wanted to respond give it back to share it with all these people as best I could no regrets no not at all not one day <laughs> thank you brother Peter thank you God bless you keep me in your prayers <laughs> we'll do it brother we'll do what's the significance of this event what, what as a as uh, you attended because of... Oh, okay. No, I, I believe in, in very much so. It, it sort of expresses, a, at, at least in, uh, in part, a sort of solidarity amongst the clergy. Um, also, uh, since there was, as you know, uh, in the 70s in the program, the, re the renewal of the profession, um, it uh, serves as sort of um, an opportunity for the clergy to be able to renew themselves, their vows, and their commitment and also to be able to, I think, um, sort of publicly express that commitment uh, in a way that can inspire all of us, uh, those of us that are not necessarily ordained to the ministerial priesthood, but belong to the priesthood of all the baptized and faithful, uh, to be able to live out that priestly virtue uh, in our own ways, much like the Archbishop said in his homily. Outstanding. And, and, and um, what got you involved in, in this order? In the Dominican Order? In the Dominican Order. And, and um, this is the, not, the novitiate is the first stage in formation of an eight-year process uh, towards ordination of the priesthood. Um, so after this year, this year is dedicated to discernment and prayer and sort of living the life to the fullest, to the extreme, if you will. Um, sort of, I guess, the boot camp of religious life. Um, and then, of course, we have six years of study after this. Two years of philosophy and four years of theology. And within there, after the third year of study, is the uh, a residence year, a pastoral year. Here we spend out in one of our ministries throughout the Western Dominican province, except much of the Western United States, um, ministering uh, in their capacity as a religious brother. Um, we're ordained to the diaconate after the seventh year, seventh year of religious life, and after eight years, of course, to the priesthood. Wow, and, and what, what got you started? I mean, why, why did you join? Oh, you know, what changed and, your heart? Yeah. First and foremost, I think, you know, we sort of saw it here, and the Archbishop explained it well, sort of the, the, the majesty of celebrating the sacraments. Uh, having sort of grown closer to the sacraments myself uh, prior to entering, time before I entered, um, I thought, you know, wouldn't it be great to be able to help penitents in the confessional like I have been helped so, so dearly, so profoundly. Um, also to be able to celebrate the Mass and bring Jesus to, to people. That, first and foremost, that's the draw. I think that should be the draw for, for everyone that sort of is seeking a priestly vocation. Um, but of course, you know, as I've come to sort of live the religious life, I, I see that there's such a dynamic, such an amazing way to relate with people. Because we, even though I am not ordained, um, you know, we do serve a sort of a role. People are drawn to us. People seek us out because we are somewhat expressive of that outward consecration, looking towards that sort of eschatological end, that end of God. Um, and I think there are a lot of people that, that, that find comfort in that. And being able to serve, even though I've only been in religious life for eight months, it's just been a very profound experience. It makes all of the hardships of religious life, and indeed there are, um, all, all worth it persevering through all of that so any re any regrets regrets no not at all you know despite there are, are many hardships like I said in this life um, there's a, a, a profound intensity um, and of course it's not for everyone but no no any time that one spends in prayer I'm not whether it be in the seminary or, or discernment trying to figure out God's will is never a time wasted there's nothing to be regretted about that growing closer to him and in that manner it couldn't be better and your Brother. I'm Brother Richard Maher. From what? I'm living in uh, St. Dominic's Priory, uh, which is attached to St. Dominic uh, Parish. 
uh, here in San Francisco. Excellent. And then I'll be moving to St. Albert's Priory in Oakland, which is where our studio is, um, in August. Thank you, brother. Of course. <laughs> Last quote before we end uh, that's so important to you that starts your day. Or maybe a prayer. A prayer? Well, what, On what the other spot. prayer could I have other than the Hail Mary? Because every day we have to consecrate to our Blessed Mother and to be able to follow her. And she, of course, and we have all confidence in this, she'll be able to lead us to her son. Thank you, brother. Of course.